Hello farmers, I hope you are doing fine and feeding the nation. It's Mkulima Mdogo here. I've come with a very interesting topic on flower abortion in passion fruit farms. Yeah, and before I tackle the topic, I wish to acknowledge my valuable sponsors. That is Papaya Empire, Victorious Green Farms, Seed Pro Kenya, Follow them on the uh, social media platforms in their respective names. And today I want us to discuss the uh, flower abortion in passion fruit farming. So passion fruit farming has its own fair of challenges. One of the challenges being the flower abortion. So I'm going to tackle the cause of flower abortion and the possible remedies. Make sure you subscribe so that you can be getting these interesting tips on how to counter it. The first thing causes uh, flower abortion is a pest attack. Uh, plant has uh, pest, usually puts the flowers. So there are several pests. There can be birds, there can be humans, there can be insects. So to counter with the birds, especially the mouse bird is very notorious in the plant food flowers. Yeah, the mouse bird, you can use a bird's net. For insects, you can use insecticides for the respective insects, especially aphids, thrips, and uh, mites. You can use possible insecticide. And uh, the second thing I'm going to tackle is the nutrient deficiency. Yeah, in nutrient deficiency, there micronutrients that usually support flowers and when they are not available for the plants it will abort its flowers that is borong and zinc and uh, it is also good to note that even uh, potassium is very essential in the flower formation so make sure you you can uh, add them before your flowers have started to fall yeah, you can use good uh, foliars that have them. Also, you can make sure that your soil is well fed. The other thing is uh, adverse uh, weather conditions. Adverse weather conditions uh, will usually make the flowers to fall. When it's too sunny, it will scorch the plant. When it's too rainy, you can have floods, the hailstorms can also be the flowers and they making them fall. So to counter this, you can also do your research and plant them in the favorable weather condition. The other thing is a lack of uh, pollinators. Pollination is very essential in passion fruit farming. So when you don't have enough uh, pollinators in your farm, it means the plant will abort the flowers because they usually feed something that is beneficial to the plant. So for pollinators, especially if there is something like bees, you can add some uh, beehives so that you can have uh, many bees and assurance that you are having bees that are frequenting in your farm. Uh, the other thing is you can also try and hand pollinate. You can use uh, earbuds, they can help you to pollinate it. The weather conditions can also help you. Uh, the windy conditions, that one will help you pollinate the flowers. The other thing is a disease in the farm. The, when the plant have diseases, they are going to abort and they will not be able to support the flowers since they are countering a, a foreign uh, menace in the plant. You can uh, uh, counter the diseases in its own way. If it is a fungal attack, a fungal disease, you can spray fungicide. If you are going to have uh, nematodes and fusarium, 
really make sure that you counter them with the respective uh, chemicals to counter it. For today, that is uh, what I had prepared for you. And next time, I'm going to come with an interesting topic on how to increase your flowers in your passion fruit uh, plant. So make sure you subscribe, you like and you share to your uh, friends so that they can learn. Thank you so much. And uh, remember that this video has been possible because of Victoria's Green Farms, Papaya Empire and Seed Pro. Until next time, bye bye.